What's up, y'all? Welcome to Epiphany Tarot. I am here to do the reading for what's today? May 31st. Today, Wednesday. Yes, like it's the last day of May. Then we going into June, baby. Yes. Time just moving on by. We really finna be in summertime and shit. But anyway, what's up, y'all? Hope y'all having a good day. What is up? Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. Let's tap in. What is the message for the collective for Wednesday, May 31st? Let's see what comes out. We got the sun card trying to come out. So Leo gang. Yeah, then we got the Six of Cups energy and the Queen of Wands. So somebody out here missing a fire sign. A Leo. Let's see. Or you can have Leo in your chart or you get some really good news today. Let's see. Ooh, we got Hamster Wheel. So this card, it's like the Wheel of Fortune in the tarot. It says surviving daily hustle. So this is like somebody who's stuck in survival mode. This is like the Wheel of Fortune reverse energy. Somebody could be going through karma or they just feel like they're stuck on the Wheel of Fortune reverse. Like, you know, because it's like they're not understanding something. Not, they're not getting something. You know what I'm saying? They just keep going around and around in circles and don't understand why they feel stuck or why shit is happening to them. Yeah, we got Twin Flame, the, the One Mirrored Souls Pledge. So this could be your Twin Flame. Like I said, I use that term loosely because everybody don't subscribe to the Twin Flame journey. For some of you, you call it soulmate or whatever the fuck, whatever the fuck you want to call it, this person. Then we got today. It says present now in the moment. So whatever this is going on, this person is happening right now. So this person is going through karma right now. Like real shit. But we've been picking that up in the energy just period. But it says interlude, pause timing factor. So this is like a hangman energy. But for some of you, this is like you watching this person. Some of y'all could be watching tarot or you're watching this person online or you're hearing something or seeing something about what this person is going through. It's like you're just sitting there watching. It's almost like you get to watch somebody's karma. So I don't know. When I seen that sun card, like some of you could hear about this person receiving karma or experiencing something. And I ain't going to cap like some of y'all might be happy that this person is getting this. And I'm just saying, I mean, like rightfully so, because a lot of y'all, this person is twin flame or whoever this person is, they really did you dirty. So, I mean, like, if you catch wind of them going through something or hear about something through the grapevine, oh, well, shit. It is what it is. So, let's see what's the message, spirit. What's the message for the collector for today? Yeah, we got hand of cards. It says take a chance, risk being strategic options, not showing hand and gambling. So for some of you, this person can have a gambling problem and they lost some money. Maybe this person was trying to like get a come up or make some quick money or whatever but i don't think it worked out too well um but hand of cards take a chance risk being strategic this person may want to take a chance or a leap of faith and try to reach out to you a like real shit they're trying to like decide if they should risk it or not because i really feel like this person wants to get back in your energy like real bad yeah, it says healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and life, self-love, self-care, being happier. So, yeah, this is y'all energy. I told y'all the sun card tried to pop out. I'm like, y'all are happy. Like, y'all are happy with the choices and the decisions that you're making. A lot of y'all are getting back to what is truly um, helping you take care of yourself. Some of you are getting back on your diet regimen or I don't, It's it's almost just like, you're getting back to the shit you know you were supposed to be doing before 
before you let this person distract you. So y'all are like getting back into those recipes that you like. Some of y'all are getting back into the gym. Some of y'all are getting back into creative projects. Some of you are doing music. It's just like you're doing something that's filling you up. Something that's, that's promoting self-love and self-care. And that's what's up, as you should be. Yeah, it says acts. It says breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. Yeah, a lot of y'all abandoned this twin flame shit with this person. A lot of y'all made the decision, judgment to cut this shit off, dead this shit, end it. Like you're over it. You're tired of waiting on this person to get their shit together. You're tired of this person not getting what the fuck is going on. So it's just like, look, I can't help your ass. It's it's on you. Yeah, it says stop the pattern. Like a, a lot of y'all are tired. Y'all don't. Y'all got off the merry-go-round. Y'all don't want to keep spinning your wheels on this fucking hamster wheel with this person. You're letting them do that shit alone. It says breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. So a lot of you could have been going through a breakup recently, or it's just like you're just officially, you officially decided to stop this shit with this person. It's just like I'm not doing this shit no more. I'm not going back around in circles. I'm not repeating this fucking cycle. Like, peace. I'm out of here. I'm making healthy choices now. And bottom of the deck, it says date. It says meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, playing and set a date. Oh shit. Okay, so for some of y'all, y'all might meet somebody new who wants to ask you out. So some of you could be going on a date soon. It's just like you're just really just chilling. Minding your business, you know, just chilling. Hold on, let me pull Zodiac cards first. What's the message, Spirit? What Zodiac signs are significant for today? Let's see. Zodiac signs. Which Zodiacs are significant? We got Venus out here, so Libra. We got Saturn out here, so Capricorn. So it could be it could be a Libra or a Capricorn out here learning some type of karmic lesson because that's what Saturn is. Saturn is the planet of karma, okay, the planet of life lessons and shit. And with that Wheel of Fortune hamster wheel card out here, it could be a Libra or a Capricorn learning some type of hard karmic lesson. Yeah, Capricorn energy. It came out again. Yeah, we got Leo out here. We got Neptune, which is Pisces. And bottom of the deck is Scorpio. So Libra, Leo, Pisces, Capricorn, and Scorpio is significant. So you could either be that sign or this person that we're talking about is that sign. Um, oh, let me put the Kipper. Let's see what the Kipper has to say. Yeah, a lot of y'all are working. I told you, look at that toil and labor. You're putting in that time, that work. A lot of you are at work, your mind, your business, your head down. This is like eight of pentacles energy. You guys are focused, putting in that time, putting in that work. Some of you, a lot of you may have like, you didn't made you like a goal list or a vision for it. It's something that you're trying to accomplish. Whether this is like financial, some of you are trying to save or stack your money up to purchase something. Or others of you, it's just like you're putting in the work to see some type of results or something. Like I said, some of you could be like working out, starting a workout regimen, and you're trying to see your results like in the next uh, few months or something. Like, I just feel like it's very goal oriented. So let's see. What's the Kipper have to say? Yeah, unexpected income. So, yeah, some of you can get an increase in money. But like I said, for others of you, you see how this person, you see how their sleeve is tattered and raggedy and shit. And then this person is giving them some money. It's this person on the hamster wheel, they may need your help financially. Some of them may try to, like, reach out to you to ask for some money or something. Or somebody's going to try to reach out to you to borrow some money. Yeah, I don't know how you're going to feel about that. Okay.
yeah, look at that. And then healthy choices and mature woman came out on top of that. So yeah, a lot of y'all are handling y'all business. Y'all are mature. Y'all are grown up. You're very poised. You're very regal. You look good, well put together. It's just like, but you're very, very wise. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's just like you and your grown woman shit, period. Give me one more. Oh, that flew out. Yeah, pathway. I told you some of y'all are going on a new path, a new journey. You're letting spirit lead you with these butterflies guiding you to the light. For some of you, you've been seeing a lot of butterflies lately or you recently did. Butterflies can indicate change and transformation like the death card, like evolution. So, yeah, some of y'all are going on a new path. You're going in a new direction. You're making a lot of necessary changes, okay? And then with the occupation out here. Told you some of y'all are at work or you're working on something. Look at that. Occupation with toil and labor. Some of y'all are working hard at something or it could just be all across the board. You're focused on your bag, um, saving your money, getting ready to purchase something, working out. It's just like you're completely focused on yourself and your needs and healthy choices. Like I said, but I feel like y'all going to see a significant change like real shit. If you keep up this energy... Because I think the sun is going to move into Gemini. So you're going to get that burst of energy. Or some of you have it already to where you just feel like you're ready to get up and go. you ready to just smash your goals to do the damn thing. So let's see. What's the message for today? What's the message for today? For May 31st. Yeah, look at you a high priestess or some of y'all could be listening to a reader or a, like maybe you have like a favorite tarot reader or somebody that you always go to to listen to their readings and shit with the high priestess or you are the high priestess you could be a psychic or a reader yourself but like i said a lot of you are just staying silent you're watching something you're paying it's like you're paying attention to something you know what's going on but it's just like you're not speaking on it you're not saying nothing it's just like you know it may not be your business you ain't got shit to do with it but you know what the fuck is going on with the high priestess shit. Some of you just completely abandoned the situation and went silent on somebody. And it's like you're watching them scramble. <laughs> Yeah, we got the Hermit card. So, yeah, this is somebody who's watching you. For some of you, it could be a Virgo. This is somebody who has been spending a lot of time at home. Um, they're in the Hermit energy, reflecting on their actions and shit. Don't want to be bothered. Don't want to be seen. 13-13 on the timer as I'm saying this. But, yeah, this is somebody who's reflecting on their actions, on how they acted when they were with you. And, see, the Hermit is looking into the lantern. Inside the lantern is the star. So, this person's watching you in this star energy. This person's watching you heal, watching you transform, watching you grow, watching you mature. Or they're, or they're looking at how much you have changed. Like, you're not the same person anymore. That's why this person, it says, hand of cards, take a gamble, take a risk. This person is trying to figure out if they should risk it or take a chance and, and reach out to you. You know what I'm saying? But they are watching you. A lot of you, this person could watch you a lot like at nighttime when they're at home by themselves is when this person watches you at night. Yeah, I'm here, especially if you've been like having trouble sleeping and shit. Or it's like you've been having trouble like falling asleep or something. It's because this person's like in your energy. You know what I'm saying? It's like they're staying up at night watching you or like tapping into your energy. So it's just like, damn, like, why the fuck I can't sleep? Because you got somebody who's like irritating your energy. So some of y'all may want to like put salt around your bed to keep this person from like invading your space when you're trying to sleep. Yeah, we got the food card. Yeah, a lot of you are free. You're free from this person, free from this situation. You took a leap of faith. You're going on a new journey. Food card with the pathway. You took a leap of faith. You took a chance on yourself. Real shit. And I'm telling you, it's going to pay off in so many ways that you never expected. And quickly, too. Like, I feel like a lot of y'all are going to be surprised how much these blessings and shit come in. And then we got two majors out here already. The Hermit and the Fool card. Like, some of you, this is your energy. You went within, went within for the answers. 
you seek within yourself to get guidance and you realize like damn like i need to free myself and move the fuck on like some of you recently in the recent past may have got some sort of downloads and shit from being in the hermit energy and you're just like what the fuck am i doing let me just go on the fool's journey and just start completely the fuck over type shit mm -hmm. yeah look at that wow and i didn't even mean to pull too but we got the devil and the queen of cups so you're in this queen of cups energy you see how her head down she's looking and focused at her own cup a lot of you are really taking care of your own needs you're making sure that you're good that you got you in every aspect money health emotions i mean you're really like making making sure that you're good you know what i'm saying some of you could even be treating yourself i'm here online shopping it's just like whatever you want it's just like for some of you you're single you don't have no boo but you're being your own boo if that makes sense you're just like what you need what you want this is like you talking to yourself this inner self talk it's like what you need you okay what you want today what's gonna make you feel better how you feeling what you doing da, 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 da. some of you are journaling and shit it's like whatever you're doing is working it's like you're filling your own cup with the queen of cups like real shit she's looking in her own cup like real shit a lot of you are being stingy with this queen of cups energy you're not giving love to nobody you're not trying to um nurture people to help and shit it's like some of you realize that some people just don't want to be helped and there's nothing that you can do i can't help you if you don't want to help yourself so why would i waste my queen of cups energy on you when i could just use it for me you know what i'm saying so a lot of you are like this is like being in love with self being so happy and content um queen of cups of right is somebody loving somebody nurturing somebody sweet somebody um who's a giver somebody with uh this this energy queen of cups is like a motherly like energy very intuitive it's just like queen of cups is somebody who can pick up on somebody's needs um without them even having to say something it's just like you encounter people and you can tell what's wrong with them you can tell they're depressed you can tell they need a hug you can tell they need some extra support or some motivation but at the same time it's just like some of these people it's not your place to be doing it so it's just like well you know, I keep my cup to myself. Like, this shit. Yeah, devil card. And you got somebody who's, like, obsessively watching you. Devil with the hermit card. I told you, this person is constantly watching you, constantly checking up on your social media, seeing what you're doing, what you're talking about, what you're into, what's happening with you. Like, and this person is trying to decide if they should take a risk and reach out or say something to you. Like, real shit. And I feel like they want to real bad because they may need your help in some sort of way with that hamster wheel and unexpected income. This person may think that you're going to give them some money or maybe they're trying to figure out how to ask you for some money or how to borrow some money from you. I, I really just like somebody want to borrow some money from you. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, a lot of you are stable. You got good jobs, good careers, or you're an entrepreneur. Your business is thriving. Like, you are... Queen of Queen of Pentacles is definitely wifey material. Some of you can have water or earth in your chart, but Queen of Pentacles is definitely wifey material. That's somebody who handles business, who stands on business. She makes your home is taken care of. You know, your house is clean, laundry done, dinner is cooked. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you make sure you take care of your Yourself. again she's looking down at her own pinnacle i told you some of y'all are like gifting yourself something i feel like you buying yourself something expensive something nice or you're saving up your money to do this because the seven of pentacles is behind that some of you are saving up for a trip or you're saving up to buy yourself an expensive item something that you've been wanting because you feel like you deserve it queen of pentacles works hard okay period but yeah a lot of y'all are stable feeling good looking good queen of pentacles you're working out you're taking care of your body i'm hearing meal prepping and shit i saw y'all are really out here like doing the damn thing like you what are y'all doing like are y'all getting ready for the summertime or what yeah i'm I'm gonna leave that queen of pentacles out because that's the overall energy on the bottom of the deck but yeah it's just like what are y'all doing like real shit a lot of y'all with that seven of pentacles underneath this queen of pentacles like a lot of y'all are just you're working your ass off a lot. Some of you could be doing overtime. I'm talking about you stacking them coins and just watching your bank account just stack. Like real shit. That seven of pentacles. Some of you can have like seven grand in your bank account. Even eight because the queen of pentacles is holding the um, is holding a pentacle. 
So yeah, a lot of y'all got a healthy bank account. Your home is taken care of, bills taken care of. Like you just focus completely on self. Oh my God. Like, and some of you are realizing it's just like, damn, ever since I took my energy back from this person, I've been booming. I've been thriving like a motherfucker. Like, damn, like I didn't know that I was wasting too much time and energy on this person. You know what I'm saying? It's like ever since you pulled your energy back from this person, it's just like things have just picked up. You know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, I should have just been left that motherfucker alone type shit. <laughs> Why is the hermit car here? But somebody's definitely watching you. They're obsessed with you. The devil, somebody in the devil's energy is somebody who makes unwise, unhealthy choices. This is somebody who doesn't care about how they eat. They don't care about their diet. They don't care about the fact that they're not making the right decisions and shit. This is the devil energy is unhealthy choices. So this is somebody who just does the wrong shit because they don't give a fuck. They're sitting in the devil's energy and they don't care, but they got the nerve to be obsessed with you. Like, what the fuck? Why is a hermit card here? I'll take this. Yeah, strength card. Yep. So Leo, you're out here. A lot of you, you pulled your energy back. A lot of you could be practicing abstinence or celibacy. It's like I'm talking about you have really like shut yourself off from everybody. Like you're not giving people time, attention, affection, sex, nothing. It's like people can't get shit from your ass at this time. Like real shit. Strength card, you pull back your energy from somebody. Like, yeah, you're you're practicing restraint. You're holding back from things that are not of your highest good. As you should. Period. And somebody is really watching you. Especially if you're a Leo. You can have a Virgo watching you. A real shit. And for some of you, like I said, we got date on the bottom of the card. So for some of you, you can have like people who are interested in you watching you. You know, this could be online and shit. Somebody's contemplating asking you out on a date or something. So you got somebody old and you got somebody new that's watching you. Watch the strength card here. Somebody seeing how strong you are, how resilient you are. Like strength card also speaks to compassion. You know, so somebody is viewing you as the Queen of Cups, somebody who's sweet, somebody who's nurturing, but somebody who's about their business, Queen of Pentacles, and on their shit. Like real shit. That's a strength card right here. Yeah, the magician. I told look at that. Somebody's watching you like manifest. Somebody's like watching you is like, damn, collective I always get what the fuck they want type shit. Uh, yeah, you're the, the magician is somebody who's a master of themselves. Some of you could be a Gemini or a Virgo, heavy Virgo energy out here. But yeah, the magician is somebody who's a master of themselves. They've mastered themselves. They've mastered their own energy. You know when to use the wand, to use the cup, to use the sword, or to use the pentacle. A lot of you, I'm talking about if there's any, if they, if there was any obstacles, there is none now. It's like the path is clear for you to move forward and you guys are moving like a motherfucker like real shit why is the magician here bro somebody could be trying to manifest you yeah eight of wands like yeah you block somebody Eight of Wands reverse is blocking somebody. Somebody else is just like Eight of Wands reverse is also return to sender. So if you guys been returning to sender, somebody's getting back the energy that they sent towards you. Something's backfiring on somebody out here, or you block somebody with the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands reverse can also speak to a state of emergency. Uh, it could be like somebody's transportation broke down or something, or a canceled flight or it's like somebody they need your help but like this eight of wands is like urgency though it's like somebody really needs your help like real shit so that's the eight of wands reverse yeah the temperance for some of you this could be a Sagittarius but if not this is just some mad ass person somebody who's um temperamental um, they're moody. This person can have a drinking problem or a drug problem. 
but the temperance is like an antagonist it's somebody who's just like it's like their temperament gets them into into trouble with other people you know what i'm saying because you don't know what's going to trigger this person like you may not even be doing nothing you could just say something and this person just pops off and it's like damn why the fuck you so angry type shit with the temperance reverse so this person could be getting into it with people around them or they pissed off because something that backfired on them or because you blocked them with the eight of wands reverse or because they need your help and now they don't have access to you to even ask for it. It's like somebody's pissed the fuck off out here because you took your energy back. Why is the temperance reverse? Temperance reverse came on in yesterday's reading too. Yeah, look at you, Queen of Wands, sitting pretty like a motherfucker. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, heavy on the Leo because we got that strength card upright and the Queen of Wands upright. Then we got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and the Queen of Pentacles, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo out here too. So you literally could be any one of the signs. The only sign I don't have out here is air. And some of you have fire in your chart. You have Leo in your chart or Aries in your chart because the food card is out here. Uh, but yeah, it's just like, look at you. Just sitting pretty. Just fine as a motherfucker. Like you showing up as the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands. Like you really on your shit. You fine, you about your business. The Queen of Wands is somebody who's uh feisty. You know what I'm saying? She has a lot of uh courage, a lot of bravery. You know what I'm saying? She don't play. The Queen of Wands is somebody who don't mind telling you how you feel. Like with the with the Queen of Wands, like that's somebody who's who's gonna make it clear. There's no there's gonna be no confusion when the Queen of Wands speak to you because she speaks with passion. She tells you how she feels, what she wants. There's no blurred lines, you know what I'm saying? She goes after the shit that she wants, like real shit. But very feisty, very per like a lot of personality and shit. It's just like, and, and the Queen of Wands is somebody who's attractive too. So people are just looking at you like just sexy, just sweet, just fine, just about your business. Like you are really like that girl, like real shit. Queen of Wands. Mm -hmm. And then we got the Page of Pentacles. So yeah, we got somebody out here trying to offer you a Page of Pentacles. That could be anything. I'm telling you, it's like somebody out here is like wanting to ask you on a date. So the Page of Pentacles could be a date. It could be an Earth sign trying to ask you out, a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. Or, I mean, the Page of Pentacles, if this is somebody from the past, it could be like an apology or somebody trying to give you a gift, a peace offering, somebody trying to make amends with you. How's the Page of Pentacles here? Page of Pentacles is also somebody who's in the energy of being a student, somebody who wants to learn. So somebody may want you to teach them something or show them how to do something. Why's the um, Page of Pentacles here? Yeah, King of Swords. Yeah, somebody wants to speak to you. They want to talk to you about something, have a conversation, an honest conversation. A like real shit. So King of Swords with the Page of Pentacles. This could be somebody like wanting to talk to you, wanting to apologize, a peace offering. It's like, can we be friends? Can we start over? Can we go on a date? You know what I'm saying? It's like somebody's trying to start something with you with the Page of Pentacles and the King of Swords. I mean, I feel like they're genuine. They're serious. Whatever they're saying with the King of Swords is the truth. The King of Swords is upright. So whatever this person is, they're trying to offer you or trying to start with you or whatever they're wanting to do. Like somebody out here wants to ask you on a date. It could be um, an earth sign, like I said, heavy on the Virgo, heavy on the Capricorn, or it could be a um, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius with the King of Swords upright. But yeah, somebody's on the energy of the King of Swords upright. They want to talk. They want to speak some sort of truth. They want to be honest. And then the Page of Pentacles, they want to start something with you, start over, apologize, give you a gift, or ask you out on a date, or they want you to teach them something. So let's see. Tell me about this King of Swords. Yeah, I feel like a lot of y'all are feeling good, looking good. You're feeling confident. It's just like you know you're on your shit. You know you are. You know you're about to manifest some, some amazing things because you're focused on yourself now. No distraction. Yeah, a lot of y'all are finna ball out this summer. Period. <laughs> I don't know why I just heard it. <laughs> well, I know I am. I'm gonna have a good time for my birthday. You know, Leo gang, period. But anyway, Ace of Cups reverse. So yeah, the King of Swords, Ace of Cups reverse. So yeah, this could this could be somebody that you feel out of love with. 
or like you know what i'm saying if you had love for this person or you weren't or you were trying to offer this person an ace of cups at, at some point it's like you poured the cup out it's like you no longer are in love with this person you no longer have the same feelings like ace of cups reverse is like unrequited love it's just like yeah i did love you once upon a time but now i don't like <laughs> So, yeah, it's the King of Swords out here that may be trying to start over with you. Like, let's start fresh. Let's start over. You know, I'm willing to learn. Like, you can teach me how to be the perfect person for you or whatever the fuck. And you're just like, Ace of Cups Reverse. Like, uh, well, I actually don't feel that way anymore. <laughs> Why is the food bar here? Yeah, it's like this person waited too late to be trying to get on some 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 honest serious shit with you it's just like yeah no thank you now like i don't want that shit now like i already poured that shit out any feelings that i have for you are gone my nigga yeah star card look at you you're healing you're shining that's the star energy is that that god's glow feeling like you have purpose like you're doing what you've been called to do some of you are healed and i'm talking about star energy is just blessed and highly favored you could be an aquarius it's just like you're blessed and highly favored you have purpose you know what you came to this motherfucker to do or you know what you're good at what you're skilled at some of you could be <coughs> excuse me some of you could be gaining popularity for something that you do that's putting you in the star energy. So for some of you, it could be a platform or you're becoming popular in your city or in your area or online. Star card is also like the beauty industry. So like I said, some of you are entrepreneurs with the queen of pentacles in the star card. Some of you have beauty products or esthetician. You could do hair, nails, eyebrows, lashes, all that type of shit, like real shit. So it's just like, yeah, some of you are mixing something up too with the star card, how she's pouring it in there. Some of you make something that's gaining popularity. Like, I don't know what it is. It's some sort of liquid that you're making that's helping people. I don't know what it's helping people do. It's help heal people or heal something that they, or something. Yeah, I don't know. Some of you could be, I don't know. Maybe you make your own perfume or you make some type of oil or hair product, something shit. Y'all doing something out here, okay? I fuck with it. Whatever it is, drop it in the comment because I support black business, okay? You know what I'm saying? Especially if you make shit for locks and shit. So let me know, y'all. But anyway, why is the star energy here? A lot of you are healing. Like, so whatever this is that you're doing, this work that you're putting in, all this focus and energy on yourself, you got the strength, the queen of wands, the star, the magician, the fool, the queen of cups, and the queen of pentacles. Whatever this is, is making you heal at a rapid pace like rapidly it's like you're seeing rapid results you know what i'm saying it's just like whatever decision you made to cut this person off or leave this person alone is proven to be beneficial like you're starting to see instant results like whatever this is like some of y'all they are skin are glowing blessings are just coming in because look at that look at this star card look at that it's seven stars on this card including this one is eight but it's seven stars on this card like so i'm telling you some of you are gonna get so many blessings coming in this summer oh my god you're gonna be like i should have did this shit sooner well that's the start energy here yeah you got somebody that wants to come back around that's watching you four pentacles i mean four cups of Four of Cups reversed in the Page of Swords. This is somebody who's watching you online. The Page of Swords is somebody who's inquisitive, somebody who's trying to learn something, figure something out, gather information. They could be asking about you and shit, trying to figure out what you're up to if you're still single. Four of Cups reversed, but this is the Four of Cups reversed could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but the uh, Four of Cups reversed is somebody who softly rejected you in the past. The, the Four of Cups reversed is when the four of cups is upright that's a soft rejection that's like you offering your cup to somebody and with the four of cups upright they didn't want whatever you were offering you see how this man got his arms folded you were offering this person something and but they didn't want it they feel like it wasn't good enough or maybe they thought whatever was in your cup was just like whatever was in these cups they already had but like this was this was actually the ace of cups definitely different from these cups that this person already has so they may have may have had a few options or whatever but they didn't realize that yours was the ace of cups you know what i'm saying he got his arms folded like nah that's not good good enough but you see the ace of cups is being handed to him by the hand of god 
You know what I'm saying? It just came out of thin blue air. He was offered the Ace of Cups after being disappointed with these Three of Cups. Because the Three of Cups can talk about dating and shit, right? So this is somebody who could have been dating or talking to multiple people. And it just wasn't hitting on shit. And then out of nowhere, the universe offered this person your cup, the Ace of Cups. You and this person met and crossed paths. And they just didn't recognize that this was the fucking Ace of Cups. So they could have softly rejected you. They could have been like, I might as well keep dealing with these three other cups I got. So this is somebody who never directly told you like, I'm not interested or I don't want this cup you offering me. This is somebody who just start acting weird or they ghosted you or they just disappeared or you just never heard from them. You know what I'm saying? Somebody four cups is act acting disinterested, bored. You know what I'm saying? So this is somebody like, say you trying to text them and shit. You like, hey, what's up? How your day going and shit? And they just like, it's cool. It's like, okay. It's just like they act like your conversation was boring or something or something. But now they want your cup back. The four cups is in reverse. It's like they know they softly rejected you. But now that they see you in this energy, you're manifesting shit. You're outside. You're doing shit. Magician, star, will of fortune. You fine as fuck. You got your shit together. You're able to get what you want effortlessly with the magician card here. Like this person is watching you with the page of swords. And they want to come back around with the four cups reversed. Mm -mm. So this could be a DM or something with the Page of Swords. So the Page of Swords upright is communication. So this could be somebody who's reaching out to you. They, they hop in your DMs or they comment on one of your pictures or something online. Trying to get your attention and shit. So you got a Page of Pentacles out here and a Page of Swords out here. So you got at least two people that are interested in you. Like I said earlier. You got somebody from your past that rejected you softly. You know what I'm saying? Soft rejection is just... They never formally came out and said, I'm not interested. I don't want to date you. They just kind of was moving funny or acting like you were boring or just seemed disinterested. And you had to figure it out and be like, oh, okay, well, you're not that interested in me. I'll just go on about my business. But you got two people out here. You got a page of swords and a page of pentacles. If somebody want to ask you out on a date and somebody who wants to communicate from um, communicate to you, they rejected you in the past. So let's see what the page of swords is. You got people definitely watching you. The hermit and the page of swords. It's like all eyes are on you. People are all up in your business. So if you don't want people to know what the fuck is going on, I wouldn't post that much. I ain't going to say don't post that much on social media, but just be mindful of what you post because you got people watching you. A like real shit. Why's the page of swords here? People are being nosy, page of swords, all up in your business, trying to see what you're doing, what you got going on. Yeah, lover's card. So the lover's reverse. This could definitely be somebody from your past that you had sex with. It could be a Gemini. Because the lover's card is six. But this is like a one-sided relationship. This was a relationship where you were you were doing all the work to keep the relationship together or if love is reverse could even be a situation ship. You know what I'm saying? This could have been somebody that you were dealing with, a Gemini. Um, you know what I'm saying? Where y'all was just fucking on each other, but it had potential to be something else. But like I said, this person rejected your cup because they had other cups and they just thought everybody cup was the same type shit. So they really dismissed you, but they see you in this energy, the star, the strength, the queen of cups, the queen of pentacles, the fool, you know, just free, just living your best life, doing what you want to do. Look at that. Being on a wheel of fortune upright, all this good luck, all these good blessings just pouring in for you. I'm talking about you really going up, star card, really gaining popularity. Somebody is watching this, somebody that you used to have sex with, and they're just like, damn. Like maybe I should DM her. Maybe I should. It's like you won't know who this person is because I feel like you're friends with them on social media. The page of swords. Whoever this is, you're friends with them on social media. You won't know who this person is because they're going to be commenting a lot on the shit that you post. Just liking shit, commenting on shit. And you're going to be like, what the fuck is wrong with this person? Like, when did you start um, commenting on my shit like that? Yeah, I just lost it, but when I opened the deck, I oh yeah, I opened the deck to the Knight of Cups reverse. But be careful with this person because they may try to love bomb you. They may come in trying to steal you a dream. Oh, I missed you. Where you been? We used to have good times. You know, we always was a vibe together. Da 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 da. Shut the fuck up. Like this person rejected you in the past. Don't forget that. 
Okay, this is somebody you had a sex-based relationship with where there was love and potential there and emotions and caring, but it was one-sided because this person was not as invested or not as interested in the connection as you were. Now they're watching you commenting, liking shit all over your social media, trying to get your attention and shit. But they in the night of cups reverse. They just trying to love bomb you. They not they sell you a dream. They're not meaning what the fuck they say. So it could be, it's either a Gemini or it could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. So be careful. But let's see. Lovers reverse. How's the Lovers reverse here? Yeah, Ace of Wands reverse. Yeah, you're not interested. You're like, I don't give a fuck about you commenting on my pictures and all this shit all of a sudden now. I, I don't give a fuck about none of that, that shit you're trying to do. Pretend like you're chivalrous and sweet and nice and shit. Like, nigga, I know the real you. You fake as fuck. Like, you rejected me in the past. You didn't want my offer and you're insincere. Like, because the Knight of Cups reverse is somebody that doesn't keep their promises and shit. You know, that's somebody who just makes shit sound good. They come off as romantic and, oh my God, we gonna do this. It's like they really paint the picture for you. But then when it really boils down to it, this person not doing none of that shit. So, but yeah, Ace of Wands reverse, you're not interested anyway. You're not even attracted to this person no more like that. So, it's just like, eh, no. It's like you got people trying to come back around, trying to offer you shit, say something to you, talk to you and shit. And it's just like you're not interested in none of this shit. Ace of Cups is in reverse. You don't got love from one of these motherfuckers no more. And then the Ace of Wands reverse the other motherfucker. You just like, <clears throat> I don't want that dick no more. Like, <clears throat> sorry, y'all, my allergies fucking up. But yeah, Ace of Wands reverse just like, yeah. I remember the the lovers card the lovers card reverse with the ace of wands reverse it's like i, I remember that the dick wasn't that great <laughs> y'all had look funny i'm sure you like y'all oh god like <laughs> the lovers card with the ace of wands reverse it's like ah oh, yeah the dick wasn't that great now that i think about it like what the fuck <laughs> oh shit y'all showing sure out this motherfucking reading oh god why well, is the ace of wands reverse yeah, ten of wands, and this person come with too much baggage and shit. So I don't know. This person got issues, or they can have a lot of kids, or they just got I don't know. They just got shit going on. They they're feeling overwhelmed, stressed out, burdened about shit going on in their life right now, and you're just like, eh, no. I was a ten of wands here. Yeah. But you definitely have people like that are obsessively watching you, stalking you, paying attention to what you're saying and shit. The page of swords is like trying to put two and two together. You know, it's like you're sharing shit on social media or making posts and shit. It's like people are trying to like decipher who you're talking about or what you mean by that with the page of swords. Like, this is like, did you mind your fucking business? But anyway, yeah, nine of pentacles, look at you. You're thriving. A lot of you, some of you, these people are trying to figure out how you make your money. Like, how are you getting all this money? How are you doing all this shit? But people don't even know. Like, the kicker deck, we had toil and labor and occupation coming out. A lot of you are just at work. I don't know what the fuck these people think you be doing. Like, a lot of y'all probably just post, like, when you're actually off work on all your off days and shit. But it's like, during the week and shit, it's just like, you're really getting to the fucking money and shit. It's just like, people wondering what you're doing. It's like, motherfucker, I'm at work. Like, what you mean? <laughs> Nine of Pentacles is self-sufficient energy. Nine of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles. This is like having the, the, the Ten of Pentacles all by yourself. It's like you ain't got nothing. It's like you got just money to spend. Like you could go wherever, do whatever. You're good. You're looking good. Your body looking good. You're in shape. You're taking care of yourself. You're eating right. You're working out. You dress nice. You, you wear expensive shit. You just outside living your best life. Period. Period. Five to nine of pentacles here. I love this reading. Mm -hmm. The girls are outside, okay? For the summertime, period. It's like, you're really, you're the one that's choosing now. You ain't waiting on no motherfucker to choose you. You're just like, uh, I gotta see if I like your ass first. Like, fuck you mean. <laughs> Five to nine of pentacles here. This independent, self-sufficient. Like I said, if you're an entrepreneur with the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, your shit thriving, okay? Or like something that you're doing like independently is going to take the fuck off and you're just going to be like sitting pretty with the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. 
How's the nine of pentacles here? Yeah, look at that. Eight of pentacles. Didn't I say a lot of y'all are at work? It's just like a lot of y'all are spending y'all time at work. A lot of y'all are focused. I'm talking about this is like tunnel vision on some shit. A lot of y'all are, you got a schedule set, a routine. It's just like go to work, go home, work out, da 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 And you keep doing the same shit in rotation, but it's like you're seeing so much results from doing it. It's like, woo. I'm talking about you got all these pentacles out here. Ace of pentacles, nine of pentacles, queen of pentacles, seven of pentacles just fell out. A lot of y'all are finna be, ooh we just gonna be having a good ass time this summer. I'm talking about just watching your money stack up. Look at that. Just watching your money stack up. Some of you may invest in something and then it, it just takes off. You're just like, God damn. Like, I'm talking about just money every fucking word. <laughs> And I say a lot of y'all, people are going to be noticing too. Because like I said, with the Queen of Pentacles out here and the Nine of Pentacles, that is somebody who wears expensive shit, like designer. Okay? So if you think for a second you're going to be uploading a picture and you're wearing something that you think people ain't hip on or don't know the name to, you a lie. People are going to be noticing that shit. They're going to see that Gucci shit, that Balenciaga shit, or whatever the fuck it is that you're buying, and they're going to notice it. They're going to be like, damn, like she must got some type of money. She out here wearing that. Like, motherfuckers gonna be page of swords. They all up in your business. People know you. They're gonna be like, damn, I seen that online. That shit cost shit $1,200 for just a shirt. Like, that. motherfuckers really don't be doing it. Like, real shit. Motherfuckers gonna be like, damn, what the fuck she out here doing? But really, it's just like you working your ass off with the Eight of Pentacles because some of you, you have a career or a job, a stable job, but you also are an entrepreneur too. So some of y'all have two businesses or you work two jobs, you have two incomes. You know what I'm saying? That's, people may not know that about you. So it's just almost like, what the fuck is a collective doing? They out here balling out of control, having a good ass time, just doing what the fuck they want to do. Always somewhere, always going out, always looking good as fuck, wearing the nicest shit. It's like, how are they doing this? They like, real shit. Why is the Queen of Cups with the uh, devil here? Yeah. See, it's a toxic motherfucker that's stuck in some miserable situation that's obsessed with you. Ten of Cups reversed. They could be stuck in a marriage or something. An unhappy, loveless marriage with a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or they could just be, if they're not married and they're single, the devil with the Ten of Cups is just them and a toxic ass family. They can have a lot of like, they can have a low vibrational toxic family or just a messy ass family. It's a lot of family drama, family secrets, family mess going on right now with them. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's the Ten of Cups reverse. This probably is my favorite reading thus far this year. I love this, okay? Why is the Ten of Cups reverse? Yeah, Eight of Cups. Yeah, this is somebody that you walked away from. You're like, I'm not settling for this shit. You and your messy, toxic ass family, or you're still married to this weird ass water sign. Like, get the fuck out of here, bitch. You are low vibe. You need to clean your life up. You need to stop being toxic and shit. It's just like, you walked away. That's why I said for a lot of you, it's this person that you walked away from. You you got off the hamster wheel with. You just like, a lot of you invested a lot of time, energy, effort into this person. Eight of Cups is an emotional investment. But it's just like, you didn't want to settle. You know, for some of you, it's the moon on this card. For some of you, this person was keeping secrets and shit. But it's just like, Eight of Cups, it's just like, bro, I want the 10. It's like, this is okay, but it's just, it's not it. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is not truly making me happy. Like, it's giving me some emotional fulfillment with the Eight of Cups, but it's not really worth it if I can't have the 10 type shit. So this is somebody that you walk away from. You left. You just like, peace, you can have this shit. I know I wasted some time, energy, and emotions on you, but at the end of the day, I could definitely do better than this. <laughs> Why is the Eight of Cups here? Yeah, Six of Wands reverse. Yeah, this person is a loser. Yeah, this person has failed from grace because they refuse to get out of this devil energy. It's like the six of wands versus somebody who failed from grace. 
somebody who's a clout chaser, attention seeker, always need validation and shit. This is somebody who could have used to been popular in the past or like back in the day. Six of Wands versus somebody who's still trying to stay relevant off like high school popularity and shit. A motherfucker who used to be like, well, I was the captain of the football team back in 09. Like, motherfucker, we 30 now. Like, that was what? 13, 14, 15 years ago for some of you. Like, get the fuck out of here, bitch. You are no longer popular, relevant, or none of that. But this person is constantly seeking validation. They care about their image, their appearance. But people look at you like a loser is what you don't even realize. With the Six of Wands reverse, they look at you as somebody who just do too much. Like, you're not even getting the right type of attention. You know what I'm saying? Like, you stupid. What is this? slow. Six of Wands reverse. Some of you could be a Leo or a Capricorn, or it could be a Capricorn with a Leo placement. Why is the Six of Wands reverse? But yeah, this person didn't feel from grace. The Six of Wands reverse is somebody who also like throws shade and shit. So they always like um, trying to down what other people were doing to lift themselves up. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody like, for instance, like this is somebody who could see somebody with the brand new Air Force Ones on, right? Say they just released or just dropped some new Jordans or some new Air Force Ones and then somebody get them. This is somebody like, yeah, they not even all that shit. I had the I had the ones that came out in November or I had the ones that came out in January. I been had them. This is that type of motherfucker. It's just like, who gives a fuck? Shut up. It's like, why are you hating? You just mad because somebody else getting the ones that came out today. They came out this month. We're not talking about January, bitch. We're talking about June. We're talking about right now. Did you get the ones that came out today? Oh, okay, you can shut the fuck up then. Yeah, this is somebody like that. Always trying to downplay somebody else's accomplishments to make themselves feel better. But you ain't even got shit going on. You a loser. Like, who the fuck is this? Ugh. This is somebody who didn't ruin their reputation, too. Why is the Six of Wands reverse? Yeah, two of swords, yeah. You made a decision on this person. For a lot of you, you stopped ignoring the red flags about this person. It was just like, yeah, this motherfucker is just lame and toxic. Oh, real shit, this motherfucker just lame. Six of Wands reverse. Like, some of you realize how lame somebody was. You're just like, yeah, I'm cool on this shit. Why is the two of swords reverse? Yeah, King of Pentacles. Who is this King of Pentacles? Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Yeah, High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this... <sighs> this could have been somebody who tried to act like they were in the King of Pentacles energy when you met them. This is somebody who tried to act like they were financially stable, financially secure, that they were going to make you an offer. Y'all was going to be in a relationship and shit, but it was just bullshit. Like, real shit. Why is the high priestess and the ace of cups? But, I mean, you do got a blessing coming in. Another ace. The high priestess with the ace of pentacles? Like, yeah, but y'all going to keep it a secret. Whatever this ace of pentacles or this lump sum of money or whatever the fuck this is that you get, a lot of you are going to be keeping that shit to yourself. Or it could be another stream of income that you discover. And it's just like you're not telling nobody about the shit. I see you just watching your money stack up with the seven of pentacles. A lot of y'all are going to be, ooh, we just doing whatever the fuck you want this summer. The world is your oyster. Yeah, look at this shit. For some of you, this could even be a new man, a new relationship because the, the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles is out here. And then look, sun card. Ooh, y'all going to be so motherfucking happy about whatever the fuck this is. Like, ooh, any sun card. Mm. This reading is just so delicious. Okay, period. Why is the sun and the uh, ace of pentacles here? Yeah, and I told you, look at that. Five of Pentacles reverse. There's somebody out here trying to come out of the cold with you. Or like I said, this person may need some sort of help. The financial, I mean, the Five of Pentacles reverse is trying to come out of financial poverty and shit. Trying to recover financially. Well, it's the Five of Pentacles here. I told you, somebody may ask you. They may see you out here balling and shit. And somebody like want to ask you for some money. But it's just like... I don't think you're going to be doing this shit on purpose. Like I said, a lot of you are just going to be posting shit 
you know what I'm saying? Just posting what you're doing, where you're going, having a good time and shit. But it's just like people are really going to be up in your business with the page of stories. They're going to be like zooming in on your photos, looking at the shoes that you're wearing, looking at the places that you're going. And they're just like, you can't really go to these type of places or wear this type of stuff or do this type of shit if you ain't got no money. So people are going to be putting two and two together. That's why I said, if y'all don't want people in y'all business, I would watch what I post. You know what I'm saying? But you can do what you want. That's just advice from Epiphany. But anyway, dead card reverse. Yeah, for some of you, this is a Scorpio trying to come out of the code with you. If it's not a Scorpio, this is just somebody who haven't changed. They're still the same. Like I said, and they need your help with something. But a lot of you, this could be a new relationship too. You could be had, you could meet a king of pentacles out here. And this is somebody who's going to be financially stable. They got their shit together just like you do. So somebody, you going to be, people going to be watching you and this person go on dates and shit or places this person is taking you to and shit. And they're just going to be like, damn, like she got somebody really cashing out on her ass and shit. But it's just like, it's not like gold digger type of energy because you and this person are sitting in the same energy. This is the king of pentacles. You're the queen of pentacles. So y'all on the same shit. Y'all both got money. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, y'all both are financially stable. Y'all both are financially secure. So it's not, and y'all both have the same values, morals and shit. Like, yeah, like some of you can end up in a relationship. You can be a real king of pentacles. But it's just like, even if you... Even in the meantime, before you meet this King of Pentacles, your money going to be stacking too. Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Like, you going to be balling. Anyway, regardless, before you meet this King of Pentacles, your bank account going to be swole. Okay? Period. Why is the death card reverse? Yeah, Three of Cups reverse. Mm-hmm. Somebody who hasn't changed, who puts you in a third party situation with a water sign, possibly a cancer. This person is going to be trying to come back around. Five of Pentacles reverse, needing your help, needing something. Like, uh, no. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, like, shit, if God, if God puts you in a position to help somebody, help them. You know what I'm saying? But use your discernment and use your discretion. Don't help nobody that you know is trying to finesse your ass and shit. You know what I'm saying? But if your heart calls you to help somebody because you really feel like they need it, then do it. But like I said, just use your discernment. But anyway, people are gossiping about this person, possibly their financial situation, how nothing has changed in their life and shit. Well, that's the three of cups here. Or this person got some low down ass friends. Yeah, the tower card. Why well, is the tower here? Heavy Scorpio energy. Why is the tower here? Yeah, the Emperor Reverse. Yeah, this person's being exposed. They're they're being exposed for a third party that they're involved in or the third party that they try to put you in. The Emperor Reverse could be like a deadbeat baby daddy or a cheating ass husband. Um, and the three of the three of cups reverse could be a social setting. So this is somebody who could have cheated with somebody's friend or somebody that you know or something like that. And it's it's being exposed with the tower card here. It's just like motherfucker. Yeah, but the emperor reverse could be an Aries, could be a Scorpio, could be a Cancer, but it could be any sign. But yeah, the emperor reverse is somebody who's controlling, somebody who's always trying to run shit, but they don't even got control of their own life. You know, the emperor reverse is somebody who lacks purpose and direction. They have potential, but they don't really know where they're headed because they lack integrity. This is somebody who just wants power, control, and respect. But they make weird-ass decisions. It's like respect and admiration and shit is earned. You know, being a real leader comes from doing right by people. Being respected in your community, um, by your friends and shit comes from doing the right thing this is somebody who doesn't do the right thing they cheat they lie and all this type of shit but they still demand respect like i don't fucking think so bitch you're a loser there's nothing to respect when you either cheating on your wife or you putting bitches in a third party situation sleeping with their friends and shit it's nothing to respect about that bitch i was the emperor here Yeah, judgment is being called on this person. Yep. They're being called the fuck out. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. Let's go back over to this Ace of Cups reverse. Why is the Ace of Cups reverse? Yeah, you're the Empress. Look at that. Yep. Told you that Twin Flame card came out at the beginning of this reading. So the Emperor reverse, you're showing up as the Empress. This is somebody who, who was supposed to 
be your twin flame who was supposed to go on this journey with you, who was supposed to help you build this ten of pentacles. They failed to do the job. This person betrayed you. They slipped with one of your friends or put you in a third party situation or this person was married and they lied about it. Like real shit because the emperor can be a married man too. So like I said, yeah, this person and the three of cups is social circles, friend groups and shit. People that you hang out with or you you know by association you've hung out with them before kicked it with them went to an event or something like that but with the empress and the three of cups reverse this is a group of friends or a social circle that you don't kick it with no more yeah so like i said the three of cups is like people gossiping about what this emperor did to you it's like they're being called out the tower and the judgment card oh shit it's like mask off on this motherfucker. The universe is ripping the mask off on this person. You can't hide no more, bitch. Like, this is how you really get down. Yeah, seven of cups. It's a reality check out here. Like, no more rose-colored glasses. You don't look at this person in the same type of way. You don't look at them and see your future anymore. It's just like you see this person and you see nothing. You don't see a future with them. Or else the empress here. Some of you got a new group of friends, too, or you're going to. You're going to make new friends for a lot of you. The Empress is out here. But like I said, you got all these queens in the upright. You got the Empress. You got the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups. A lot of you are going to meet some new friends. I'm talking about some real legit bitches that get money. That's this high vibe. That's on the same shit you want type shit. Mm-hmm. Why is the Empress reverse? I mean, why is the Empress of right? She not reversed. Yeah, some of you are just looking gorgeous. Like your skin, like whatever you're doing is working. This regimen, this routine, whatever this is, it got you just popping. Okay? Real shit, look, look at you, chariots. And some of y'all, y'all might even get a new car. Oh my God. Motherfuckers gonna be like, you can't afford that type of car unless you got money or you got good credit. I'm talking about people are going to be up in your fucking business. Like, you are on the right path. You discipline. You in control of your shit. You taking this chariot wherever the fuck you want to take it. Some of you could even be moving. You can move to a new city or something. It's like major changes out here. Where mother, you're going to be living your best fucking life. You're going to be... Or the chariot. Some of you could be traveling. This could be a fucking road trip or some shit. Oh, I the chariot here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, four wands reverse. That's the four wands reverse here. Ten of Pentacles. What's the Ten of Pentacles here? Yeah, three of swords. Yeah, it's just like you moved on. You moved out and you moved on. Some of you had to move out of this home with this emperor reverse that you were with. Some of you had to move out of that home with the four of wands reverse or you got, maybe there was an eviction notice like you couldn't afford to stay there or this emperor, emperor reverse didn't have a job or they didn't have no money. So it's just like you couldn't afford the place that you were staying in. But it's, it's just like you moved out and moved right into the ten of pentacles. It's like this person, this emperor reverse is struggling and you're like getting everything like the chariot and the ten of pentacles it's just like if you and this emperor reverse were living together it's like y'all move out and you move to somewhere even nicer with the ten of pentacles and the empress and the chariot and this person is like struggling i don't know if they gotta move back home with family or what yeah, because maybe this person thought that you weren't saving your money when y'all was living together. You know, now that you got to move out and you're single and you're doing your own thing, they're just like, damn, like, how the fuck is you doing all this shit? Yeah, not a cuss reverse. Who is this not a cuss reverse? This is somebody who's insincere, somebody who want to love bomb you, gaslight you, tell you all this bullshit, sell you all these dreams. Yeah, we could have been great together. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. I can do that for you. You know what I'm saying? Trying to make you seem like they're really romantic and chivalrous. No, the fuck you not, bitch. Yeah, hang man. You're stuck. For some of you, this could be a Pisces. It's like, bitch, you can't do shit for me. You can't even do shit for yourself. You living with family and shit. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. I was a hangman reverse. 
this person is stuck. The universe got their life on pause and shit because they don't do nothing but lie and manipulate people's emotions with the Nada Cousin Verse. Yeah, look at that. King of Cousin Verse. So for some of you, this definitely could be a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. Heavy on the Pisces, heavy on the Scorpio. They wants to come back in and love bomb you and shit. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. Like, no. Y'all definitely not dealing with no Pisces man. He's not doing up but lying, gaslighting you. Just lying. For some of you, this, this Pisces man can be bisexual with the Knight of Cups Reverse. So you can know he's bisexual or sexually fluid. It's like, bitch, get your, get your in the closet ass oh, fuck away from me, bitch. Yeah, look at that Ten of Swords. Lots of Ten of Swords here. This person may not be, this, this Pisces man may not be in the best mental space with the Ten of Swords. He could have gone through something that's like been a recent betrayal. He could have got betrayed by Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or just betrayed by somebody like really close to him. He really hit rock bottom. Yeah. Tables turned on his ass. He had to, this Pisces man had to learn some sort of karmic lesson. Like real shit. That was Will of Fortune here. Yeah. King of Wands reverse. You got an Aries Leo Sagittarius out here. Why is this Queen of King of Wands reverse? Page of Wands reverse. Yeah, so be aware of a fire sign too. Uh, this fire sign with the uh, King of Wands reverse and the Page of Wands reverse, they can have some sort of STD. Why is the Page of Wands reverse? I'm telling you, these people are going to be coming for you. Because these are the same people who try to try to box you in to make you feel some type of way. To try to make you feel like you were less than, like you weren't worthy, like you were good enough. And God is putting you in a position to prove to them, like, they, my child very much is worthy, bitch. I'm going to give her everything that you, your raggedy ass, didn't want to give her. Like, real shit, you're still getting everything and then some from the universe. The universe is going to show out for you. And these same motherfuckers that are jealous, spiteful, vindictive, manipulative, liars, gaslighters, love bombers, these motherfuckers are finna try to resurface. Some of these people want to set you up. Yeah, nine of wands reversed as soon as I open up the deck. So a lot of these people are holding grudges against you. They're resentful for you leaving them out or leaving them out of this ten of pentacles and shit. They feel some type of way for real. Some of these people want to sleep with you again just to give you this STD too. Others of them, they just want to love bomb you, manipulate you to make you feel stuck like they do with the hangman reverse. It's like you really got to use your discernment with this shit. Why is the page of wands reverse? Page of Cups reverse. Yeah, this King of Wands reverse. This is somebody who's emotionally manipulative. Or if it's not an STD, this King of Wands reverse, you could find out that they had another kid or something out of nowhere. Because you got the King of Wands out here with two pages. Two pages in the reverse. So these some badass kids at that. You know what I'm saying? You could find out that this person got two kids on the way or one kid. And it's just like, damn, you didn't have all them kids when I was talking to you. Like, how the fuck you just have a kid out of nowhere? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Page, but that's somebody who's emotionally controlling, possessive, manipulative, jealous. Like this King of Wands reverse is somebody who's jealous of you. Like real shit. You jealous of a whole female, very much bitch made. Yeah, but they feel like they had the two of cups with you. Bitch, please, but it didn't work. Because the three of pentacles reverse is somebody who's incompetent, somebody who doesn't know how to get along with others. They don't know how they don't understand something because with their pride and their ego, they always trying to run shit. They always want to be in control. They always think they know everything and they got the best answer and shit. So it just didn't work with this person because they refuse to listen to you. You know what I'm saying? Like they felt like you ain't know what you were talking about and shit. But it's just like that's why I be saying like people, they egos be out of control because it's just like. How you going to make me feel like I don't know what I'm talking about, but you're, you're the one with your life in shambles. You're the one who ain't got your shit together. You're, this King of Wands reverse, this person could be unemployed with the Three of Pentacles reverse. Or if they're not unemployed, they're just not doing a good job at, at, at wherever they work at. The Three of Pentacles reverse is an incompetent employee. They don't know how to do the job properly. So it's just like... Like, how are you trying to tell me, I don't know, I don't know shit, but you the one with all the issues and the fucking problems and shit going wrong for you. Like, yeah, look at that world card reverse. This person is repeating a cycle. I told you this person doesn't understand something. They, this King of Wands reverse is somebody who just keeps repeating the same shit over and over and over again. It's like they don't realize they're on a hamster wheel. They don't realize that that shit is not working. A lot of these motherfuckers could be on a hamster wheel. 
a real shit, especially this King of Wands reverse and this King of Cups reverse and this Emperor reverse. They're all repeating a cycle because they didn't understand how to learn a lesson here. Yeah, Nine of Cups reverse. These motherfuckers are miserable. Okay, they hate them. They hate their lives. They hate themselves. They hate these bitches they had kids with. They hate where they live at. All type of shit. Yeah, and this King of Swords, it's the King of Swords out here, the Page of Pentacles, the one I said wants to have an honest conversation with you, want to start over, wants you to teach them something. Hey, let's be friends, trying to make a peace offering to you. The Queen of Swords just came out. So they got beef with a bitch that they possibly could broke up with or have kids with and shit. So they got a Queen of Swords reverse that they not getting along with, but they want to come talk to you and speak some sort of truth to you and start over with you. Get the fuck out of here. Lots of Queen of Swords reverse. Yeah, and she's trying to hold on to this motherfucker. Queen of Swords reverse came out with the Four of Pentacles reverse, so she's broke. There's something going on with her stability, and she thinks this King of Swords is trying to leave her and go start something new with you because you're abundant. You know what I'm saying? She feel like this this um this King of Swords is leaving her in a financial situation. You know what I'm saying? He's running off trying to go towards you because you're the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles. You got everything going on for yourself. And this bitch getting left in the dust in the Four of Pentacles reverse. Penny pinching. Barely any money and shit. You know what I'm saying? She feels some type of way about she's bitter about this King of Swords that then left her in a financial situation. I'm in a bind, mate. Look at that. Ace of Swords, and it's the fucking truth, period. Because I know what the fuck I be talking about, okay, period. I'm a beast when it comes to these cards. And I'm just popping my shit because y'all, look, I had, I, I've i earned the right to say that. And you know why? Because I've been reading cards for a very long time. And it's been blood, sweat, and tears to be able to read cards the way that I do. I started reading cards in like, wow, it's been years ago. Um... I want to say 2015 is when I first purchased my first deck. Yeah, I picked up my first tarot deck in 2015 or 2016. And it's been years. I done had a lot of decks. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've just been through the motion when it comes to reading tarot. That's why the shit comes out so clear to me now because I've been doing this shit for a while. But... It's not impossible. I encourage you, if you do want to be a tarot reader, a card reader, I say do the shit. Like, it's fun to me. You know what I'm saying? That's why my page is not monetized because I, I do this shit. I don't give a fuck about no money. I do this shit because I like delivering the messages. I like enlightening the collective. And I like telling y'all what the fuck is going on because it's a lot of, of tarot readers out here that just do this shit for the money or they just... They just, I don't know. It's like something about their channels and shit be weird. And it's not no shade to no other tarot readers, but that's just observation based on what I see. And I just be feeling like some of these tarot readers just don't get down to the truth. Or you know what I'm saying? It just be weird shit. Like, and I know they got to make money. They got to get their money too, because some of these tarot readers, like they do this shit for a living. You know what I'm saying? But some of them, it's just like, they give you a reading and then they make you buy the extended and shit and all that it's just like, man, look, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get these messages out. I'm going to give out this advice. I'm going to give out this truth for free. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't hard up for no money. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, if I get to a certain amount of subscribers, I may end up monetizing my page. But as of right now, I'm just not, I'm not even worried about that. But yeah, but anyway, Ace of Swords is upright. So, this is the truth. This King of Swords, this Gemini Libra Aquarius that's trying to come towards you. Him and, it, him and the Queen of Swords reverse, somebody he was in a relationship with, are on bad terms. They not they not speaking for real because she in the reverse and he in the upright. But it's like when they do speak, they get into an argument. But it's just like she's pissed off at this person because of four pentacles reverse. Because he's leaving her in a position where she got to struggle financially and shit. But he's trying to come towards you with this page of pentacles and start over. He don't got much either, but whatever he got, he's trying to give it to you. Period. <laughs> Act bad, y'all. Act bad. <laughs> Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? And then I'm going to get off here because I got to go to work. Okay, period. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? 
Yeah, nine of swords. Ooh, somebody is nine of swords over you, baby. They is all up in their head. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy, nine of swords is somebody with a guilty conscience. This is somebody who knew that they were cruel to you or they did you wrong. They did you dirty in some type of way. They treated you in a way that you did not deserve. So now they worried about it. They know something is going to happen to them or they know this karma or whatever is happening to them now is because of how they treated you. This person is worried, stressed out, anxious, scared. They're like that. The nine of swords is fear. You know what I'm saying? So it's almost just like, damn, I done been getting hit with all this karma because of how I treated the collective. What else going to happen to my ass next type shit? Mm -mm. Why is the uh, nine of swords here? Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Or this person know they fucked up. They should have chose you. And they could have been in the Empress, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles energy with you. Nine of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles reverse. This person is struggling. They're a bum, a user. The Knight of Pentacles reverse is somebody who's a moocher. Somebody who wants to just want you to take care of them. The Knight of Pentacles is somebody who acts like they get money, act like they work hard and all that type of shit. When really, it's just like as soon as you get with this person and they and you let them in your house, they'll just be sitting on your couch, soaking up your internet, your heat, your air conditioning, water, food, and everything else. And it's like as soon as you ask this person about a job, they be looking at you like, like what you mean type shit. Like, this is the Knight of Pentacles versus a bum. That's somebody who don't even wash their ass every day. You know what I'm saying? It's just always like, ew, like... It's a bum ass nigga out here or a bum ass bitch out here with the nine of pentacles reverse who know they fucked up with you, trying to use you, trying to get over on you. And then got the nerve to have a, is angry, nine of wands. They got the nerve to be holding a grudge against you. They resent you. For what? Because you a loser and a bum? That ain't got shit to do with me. They ain't got shit to do with the collective. Nine of wands. Yeah, two of pentacles. Yeah, justice reverse. Some of you could be a Libra. This person just feels like they always in a struggle financially. They're worn out and they're fucking tired with the Nine of Wands reverse. It's like, damn, why the fuck do I always got to struggle? You know what I'm saying? Why can't I just afford to have the shit that I want? Two of Pentacles reverse. I always got to borrow or ask or negotiate or move money around in my bank accounts just to make some shit happen. Or they could have some legal issue going on with the Justice reverse that's... Um, eating up a lot of their money too so it's just like now they're in the struggle or they're gonna be having to pay whatever this is financially like this is some legal shit with the two of pentacles and the justice card reverse they may have to pay whatever this is for like two years or something that could be on probation it could be something that's eating up their money legally but i mean yeah look at that moon card with the five of swords and somebody's trying to hide their hate for you Somebody trying to hide the fact that they're in secret competition with you. Moon card with the five of swords could be uh, a cancer or a Gemini Libra Aquarius. Somebody is so envious and jealous of you. Why is the five of swords with the moon card here? Because I don't know. I need to make this reading this long. Seven of wands reverse. Yeah, somebody has to push over, or run over. They don't know how to stand up for themselves or set boundaries. Somebody is struggling to survive. Eight of, eight of swords reverse. Yeah, somebody that... Somebody's mad because you broke free from them. This person wanted to make you feel stuck with the Eight of Swords, made you feel like trapped, like you ain't had nowhere to go, you ain't had no options, you don't know what to do. But you like, nah, bitch, I see exactly what the fuck you're trying to do, and I'm good. Eight of Swords reverse, they couldn't make you feel stuck, they couldn't trap you, they couldn't mind fuck you. Five of Cups reverse, and you're not sad, you're not heartbroken, you're not worried what so fucking ever about this person. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. Mm hmm. Now they feel some type of way because they stuck paying child support or something. They want to rush in. They want to spin the block again. Six of swords reverse. Say something to you. But you got your back turned with the three of wands. The three of wands of right. You got your back turned to this person. It's just like, nah, I'm good. Yeah, for some of you, this is a sneaky ass X with the six of cups reverse and the seven of swords. It's like you're the hierophant. You're too wise and too experienced and, and too disciplined to be playing with these type of motherfuckers. But anyway, yeah, people are going to watch you go up this summer. Live your best life. Get into this new relationship, date this new person who's going to give you, who be treating you like a princess, literally. And that's just what it is. So anyway, this has been the reading. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good shit. And I will holler at y'all later. Peace.